This is a full set of fiber span pedestrian bridge deck panels that are going to a bridge in British Columbia. This is actually a suspension bridge that does double duty. Uh, it carries the pipe and utilities from one side of the city to another, and then our lightweight deck panels go on top, and that will allow pedestrian access from one side of the city to the other. This set of deck panels is also a very good example of all the different features that can be incorporated into our fiber span pedestrian bridge deck panels. The first feature I want to talk about in the deck panel here is the crown. We mold the panels with a crown so that you have the water runoff. The bottom of the deck panel is flat so that it interfaces with the simple steel girders that, that are there. And then we have the crown in the middle and we slope off to both sides. Then we also have curves that are integrally molded with the panels and that provides a place to collect the water that will then run off towards the scuppers and it's also the location where the rail posts will be attached. It has two different width of panels. At both ends of the bridge there are these wider panels where people first enter onto the bridge. Then as they go past the mass that hold up the suspension bridge the panels get narrower or the standard width. And this again is one of the benefits of the fiber span decking is we can make the panels in whatever shape or size that you need to fit with the, the bridge configuration. Then there will be two panels that are trapezoid shaped that are the transition panels between the wide panels and the standard shape panels. Another thing that we can do because of the flexibility of our manufacturing process is we can incorporate whatever features, sizes, configurations are needed for the bridge deck. In this case here, this is a molded in instep where the deck panel actually sits above the girder splices. So where the steel girders have to be spliced together, there'll be a top cap and bolt sticking up. And we actually just mold a cavity there so that there's no interference and the contractor can just set everything on and there's no need for any shims or any additional work in the field. These are the curbs that are molded in with the panels. One of the additional things we do with the curbs is we actually have embedded steel inside these curbs where the rail posts will attach when the contractor puts the whole railing system on. And what you see here is where we have drilled and tapped down into the steel that's inside the FRP. These are just caps here to keep the water out until uh, it's fully assembled. But we coordinate this with the contractor, the railing supplier, and we will do all this work here in the shop so that there's minimal amount of work that the contractor has to do in the field. This is the molded in drainage scupper that is incorporated in a number of panels based on how much water and how much flow is gonna need to be drained off. When we do this, we actually mold in a cavity in the panel. Then we get FRP drains from another company. We bond those in, and you'll see those underneath here in a second. And then we take grating, and we just bolt the grating down so that, it, again, we deliver a bridge deck panel that has all the drainage items attached to the deck panel and then the contractor will just attach some PVC piping after the deck is installed and that system's all in place. All of our fiber span deck panels come with a shop applied overlay. This is a non-slip wear surface that provides the correct amount of friction for the users and it comes in a variety of colors. This one here is the low traffic version of the wear surface uh, that the owner opted for because of their more rural location and it was slightly less expensive. We also have a high traffic version that is a polymer concrete, it comes in a variety of colors also, and that's used in more of the high traffic and the urban areas where we have the pedestrian bridges. As an engineer product, we make sure that the fiber span is well coordinated with the other aspects of the bridge and we coordinate with the designer and the contractor. Uh, one of the things you see here is that all the panels come to the site with a unique identifier. This is our serial number that provides traceability 
through the whole manufacturing process and again is a unique identifier for the contractor when he's installing. We also provide an identifier of the panel type. In this case, the example is F2. This tells the contractor what type of panel it is and he can match that up with the shop drawings and just simply and easily drop those panels in the correct location. This detail is an access hatch cover so that the owner can have access to some of the utilities that are underneath the bridge deck. This is just another example of the features that we can incorporate anywhere in the decking panel to make this the most functional product possible for the owner.